Ngayon ay mag-expand naman tayo at magkakondense ng mga logarithmic expressions gamit ang properties of logarithms. Nung first, yung first six problems natin is expand natin yung logarithms using the property. So yung number one, log of 6 times 11 gamit natin ay product property. So pwede natin siyang paghiwalayin as log of 6 plus log of 11. So yan yung expansion ng problem number one. Yung number 2 naman ay parehas din lang ng number 1, product rule or product law. So, logarithm of 2 times x is log of 2 plus log of x. At yung problem number 4, dalawang um, properties yung gagamitin natin dito, product at saka power. So, yung una, I'm sorry, number 3 is quotient at saka power. So, una muna yung ating expansion ng logarithm of 6 minus logarithm of 11 to the 5th power. At since pwede natin gamitan ng power rule, pwede natin siyang ibaba at magkakaroon tayo dito ng 5 log of 6 minus log of 11. At kung gusto nyo pa siyang i-simplify, pwede natin i-distribute yung 5. So, meron tayong 5 log of 6 minus 5 log of 11. So, yan yung so problem number 3. At yung number 4, meron tayong log of 3 times 2 to the third power. So, dalawa ulit yung gagamitin natin log of 3 plus log of 2 raised to 3 at pwede natin itong simplify para magkaroon tayo ng log of 3 plus 3 log of 2. So, ito yung expansion ng ating problem number 4. At sa problem number 5, meron tayong log of third root of 3x na pwede natin i-simplify as log of 3x to the 1 third. At since log of 3x to the 1 third, gagamitan natin siya ng power. So, ibababa natin si 1 third at magkakaroon tayo ng log of 3x. At since pwede pa natin itong i-expand as multiplication of product, so yung final answer natin is would be 1 third log of 3 plus log of x. So, pwede nyo i-distribute yung one-third or pwede nyo iwan na lang siya as like this kasi parehas lang naman siya. And sa last problem, meron tayong number 6, log of square root of 2 to the x. So, since meron siyang root na 2, um, pwede natin i-change ulit siya ng log of 2 over x to the 1 half. At yung 1 half, ibababa natin. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 1 half log of 2 all over x. At since yung 2 over x, pwede natin siyang gamitan ng quotient rule. Pwede natin itong baguhin as 1 half log of 2 minus log of x. At yan yung mga pag-expand ng mga logarithmic expression gamit ang properties of logarithms. Now, yung sa second part ng ating um, work, ang gagawin naman natin is e co-condense or isi-simplify yung ating logarithmic. So, so problem number 1, Meron tayong log of 3 minus log of 8. At gamit ang quotient property, pwede natin siyang paikliin into log of 3 all over 8. So, mapapansin nyo, from two logarithms, meron na lang tayong single logarithm. Kasi nga, pinapaliit natin yung mga logs or logarithm gamit ang properties. So, ngayon, meron naman tayong log 
of 6 base 3. So, bago natin gamitan ng uh, property, i-modify natin yung function kasi pwede natin tong gawing 1 third log of 6. At uh, gamit ang uh, power property, pwede natin ilagay as exponent si 1 third sa 6. So, magkakaroon tayo ng log of 6 raised to 1 third. At alam natin yung 1 third in radical form is cube root. So, yung final answer natin would be log of third root of 6. So, yan yung pag-simplify from this logarithm to logarithm of third root of 6. Now, yung problem number 3 naman. I'm sorry, problem number 2. Oh, I'm sorry. This is problem number 3. Yung number 2, mas madali kasi log of x minus log of y. Product, um, quotient property. So, magkakaroon tayo ng log of x all over y. Pares lang ng problem number 1. Now, yung number 4, meron tayong 2 log of 7 base 3. So, ang gagawin natin is, is simplify or modify natin yung function. So, yung 3 na ito, pwede natin gawing 2 all over 3. So, ito, ay I rewrite ko as 2 thirds log of 7. So, mapapansin nyo na yung 2 over 3 na nasa unahan ng log, pwede natin gamitan ng power property. So, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng log of 7 raised to 2 all over 3. At pag change natin yung uh, fractional exponents into radical, yung nasa denominator yung root at yung 2 yung magiging power ng 7. So, to finalize our answer for number 4, we'll have log of third root of 7 squared. So, yan yung expand... Um, Simplest form nung problem number 4. At yung problem number 5, meron tayong 4 log of 3 minus 4 log of 8. So, simplify muna natin to using power. So, magkakaroon tayo ng log of 3 raised to the 4th power minus log of 8 to the fourth power. At gagamitan natin siya ng um, quotient property. So, para mag single log na lang yung ating logarithm. So, isulat natin log of 3 to the fourth all over 8 to the fourth. At since parehas yung exponent niya, pwede pa natin siya simplify as log of 3 over 8 to the fourth power. So, ito yung single logarithm ng problem number 5. Gamit ang two properties. At yung last problem natin, number 6, we have log of m minus 6 log of n. So, here, ito lang yung simplify natin. So, if we rewrite the function, we'll have log of m minus log of n to the 6th power at apply apply natin yung uh, quotient property we'll have log of m all over n to the 6th at ito na ngayon yung ating condensed form ng ating logarithm so ito yung pag uh, gamit ng properties of logarithms para mag condense at expand ng mga logarithmic expansion so kung may natutunan kayo sa video na ito please like share and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you